Hey there, Tad Hargrave from MarketingFrampies.com. Today's video is about a, I always knew it was blank. Most people, I think, actually have a fairly clear sense of what's causing their troubles. If they're really honest with themselves, and if they're asked sincerely without any judgment or shame. You know, if you're a doctor and you say, what do you think this is about? Most people know, actually. Most people have some idea. They might feel embarrassed to say it, they might feel scared to say it. They might feel, no, it could never be that. And who am I to even have an opinion on this? But most people do know. So number one, this is an encouragement when you're having uh, conversations with your clients to just ask them, why do you think you're stuck on Island A? Why do you think you have this problem? Why do you think these symptoms are here? What do you think it's about if you had to guess? It's good guidance. But the other thing is, this can be useful in marketing copy, of course. Uh, here in Victoria, uh, Rachel Warrington, YarrowHealingArts.com. She, uh, you can see this written on her headline on her homepage, but people would come to her with these mysterious aches and pains and symptoms, suspecting it might be about some, have emotional roots in their past. And so, but they didn't know how to go about it. So it, it's often, they either know or they suspect. So the question is, yeah, what do they silently suspect this might be about? And if you can acknowledge that in your headline, uh, in your sales copy, in the in your write-ups for what you do, you'd be amazed how much more it resonates with people. People say, oh my God, it's just like that. I did think it was that. Uh, deepens the credibility and also will deepen the um, their willingness to, uh, to follow orders you know their willingness to uh, if you give them a protocol to actually do it because why they they think this person really sees me they get it and they also have a deeper sense that this is going to be helpful why because it's really addressing the root cause this is really getting to it the thing that I knew was there all along so just consider asking them consider speaking to it directly in your marketing not just the symptoms, but what do they suspect is the root cause of those symptoms. That's it for today. Thank you so much. Quick little video. Thanks to everyone who subscribed here on YouTube. Happy to have you around. Uh, marketingforhippies.com is my website, uh, which is going to be redone this summer, so get ready. And um, anyways, I think that's all. You can follow me on Facebook. Comment below. Thanks so much.